All right. Good morning, YouTube viewers. This is a video response to Dutch Sense's uh, radiation jet stream forecast update from March 21st. Um, he'd mentioned that uh, he wasn't able to get into the uh, RadNet map on the EPA site, and I don't know if maybe it's just because I'm from Canada. They're letting in a, uh, a Canadian IP address. So, anyways, I did manage to get in here. Um, this is at their uh, EPA.gov site. And this is the map, so I'll uh, I'll click through uh, a few of these just so folks can can get an idea of the numbers. He did mention there was quite a few that were reporting quite high, and interesting enough, if uh, hopefully you can see this map, and I might even zoom in a bit so you can get a better view. But pardon me for my rookiness here. Um, there, hopefully that's good enough for you to see. Um, the map shows up on here. There's uh, three types of um, little bullets that you can see. Dark blue means that it's actually monitoring. White means that it's temporarily out of service. And the light blue is that uh, it's undergoing a quality review. So I'm only going to look uh, at a few around the states there um, that are in the dark blue. And uh, here we go. I'm sure everybody wants to know their little area, but uh, I just want to give give a brief sort of uh, overview here. So I'll just start on the uh, on the west coast because I'm there up in Vancouver. Um, Seattle areas, and for some reason too, this takes a little while once you click on the actual link before it uh, it pops up. But overall, beta gross count only 15 for Seattle, Oregon area, Corvallis, a 43, Eureka, California, reading only a 12. Sacramento, only a 32. So it's interesting, a lot of the ones along the coast aren't that bad. San Fran, reading a 13. I don't know if you guys can see these that quick, but basically right here is I'm just reading this number off as it pops up. Uh, it's the beta gross count. I couldn't tell you all the individual energy ranges that are popping up. Some of them are, are quite high, but it's different types of radiation. I'm assuming that they're detecting. Um, if we whip over to Vegas, 134 on the beta gross count. So that seems like a, a high number to me, considering that the uh, radiation network site, um, most of those numbers have been, you know, consistently quite low. Uh, Tucson, reading a 61. And again, this is just uh, Dutch that he wasn't able to get into the site, and he was sent a list of, uh, of numbers from folks of areas that were quite high. Um, I'd noted a couple in here when I was whipping through, and uh, you know, seeing that 134 a second ago is, is kind of a high one. Albuquerque, New Mexico, reading 144. Um, the Navajo Lake, reading a 77. Colorado Springs, holy crap, the 272 for a beta gross count. So that seems quite high. But again, I don't know, you know, the what type of, uh, of numbers are regular for that area off of this site. Um, yeah, you'll have to go with it yourself. So I don't know what kind of nuclear plants are around there, uh, what the typical sort of readings of, of radiation monitoring come out of those areas, but Again, I'm just reporting, so uh, as a bit of a reply back to uh, Dutch Sense there. Um, beta gross count for Denver, 217. Again, that seems kind of high to me. Uh, Grand Junction, most of these seem high in the Colorado area, 169. Uh, just do a few more here just so you can get the idea, because these would have come across probably in the last few days. Uh, Kearney, Nebraska. You can a sec before these pop up. I'm not sure if it's just because it's busy or if it's slow. Sometimes I actually have to click the next link and then one will show up behind it. So that's taking a sec there. 126. Kansas, Wichita. Come on. Come on, baby. Okay, if they take a sec here, I'm just going to move on real quick. Uh, down in Texas, 
San Angelo. Oh, see Wichita popped up. 22. So that's not bad. One ten for Texas, San Angelo. And I'll just do a, maybe a last one here, Arkansas, Little Rock. They've got quite a few uh, rad monitoring sites around, which I'm assuming is because of all the nuclear stuff. But uh, Little Rock showed up at a 57. But it's surprising how many are. Uh, the light blue is just undergoing quality review. I don't know if that just means they're reporting anomalies or uh, check Louisville, Kentucky. Again, it is really slow. Don't know if that's just because of the uh, amount of hits they're getting on the site lately, but 37 there showed up. And Augusta, 61. So, I mean, I could try and hit every single one of these. It would take quite a bit. But looking at that sort of main area, I think the highest readings we had there were for the Colorado area. And who knows, if I think that's your guys' Mile High City. I'm Canadian, so I could be wrong, but um, don't know if that means that some of it's hitting the ranges because things like Nebraska, well, it was a, a little bit higher at 126 is what I had. Kansas, I only had at like a 22 or lower. And uh, Texas, so I don't know if, if radiation comes in and hits a mountain range and is able to go around, but, you know, sort of seems like back out in these areas are, are relatively stable or normal. Again, I don't know the uh, what the typical ranges would be for those areas, but uh, if you've seen them before. Anyways, if, uh, if you'd like, I can do another uh, post later. Thanks. Good luck, all.